we are covering some of the most feared and famous pirate ships that sailed the high seas. Join us today on History of Pirates. The Wider Galley, built in London in 1715 as a transport for captive humans, it only made two voyages until pirate Black Sam Bellamy, around February of 1717 in the Bahamas, captured the Wida and made it their flagship. The Wida was a 300 ton galley and 110 feet in length. It was fully rigged with three masks and could reach a top speed of 13 knots. The ship held about 150 men and had 18 active guns at launch. But under Sam Bellamy, there were some upgrades made, so they went from 18 to 28 active guns. But the widest reign of terror on the North American seaboard only lasted two months, because on April 26, 1717, off the coast of Cape Cod, New England was hit with one of the most severe storms in their history. The Wida ran a sandbar and crashed, leaving only two survivors, making it the worst shipwreck ever to occur on the shores of Cape Cod. The shipwreck of the Wida Galley was discovered in 1984. You can also visit the Wida Pirate Museum to check out the artifacts that were discovered and learn a little bit more of this amazing ship. Blackbeard's Queen Anne's Revenge. It started off as an English merchant vessel called the Concord in 1710, but it was later captured by French privateers. But on November 28, 1717, she was captured by Blackbeard, and he changed the name to Queen Anne's Revenge. The ship was then upgraded from 26 cannons to 40, and they rigged the sails for speed. The Queen Anne's Revenge was a 200-ton, 103-foot frigate. Blackbeard sailed this ship from the west coast of Africa to the Caribbean, attacking British, Dutch, and Portuguese merchants along the way, and most famously blocking the Charleston Harbor in May of 1718. But on June 10th, 1718, only six months after acquiring the Queen Anne's Revenge, Blackbeard ran it aground in the Beaufort Inlet in North Carolina. Many historians say he did this on purpose to divide the crew so he could keep more plunder for himself. The wreck was then later discovered November 21st, 1996. Henry Every's The Fancy. The ship was originally named Charles II, but while privateering in May of 1694, Every and some crew mutinied and captured the ship. Following its seizure, they renamed the ship the Fancy. They first traveled south to the island of Johanna off the coast of the Cape of Good Hope. There, they made a lot of adjustments to the Fancy, making it lighter, creating one of the fastest man of wars in the Indian Ocean. The Fancy had a crew of about 150 with about 50 guns. And after about two years of terrorizing the Indian Ocean, Avery returned to Nassau in April 1696, ending his career where he later just disappeared. The fate of the fancy is unknown, but some historians believe that Avery gave her to the governor of Nassau. And there is other documents believing that the fancy ran aground in New Providence, and the governor had the guns and everything of value stripped away. William Kidd's Adventure Galley. The Adventure was a special sailing vessel that had rigid square sails along with oars so that it could travel through windy storms and any weather conditions. It was then purchased by investors in 1696 and given to William Kidd so that he could search and destroy pirates. So in April of 1696, the Adventure sailed thousands and thousands of miles searching for pirates, but unfortunately, Kid didn't find any, so he decided to turn into a pirate himself. He pirated with the adventure until 1698, when he went to Madagascar and discovered that the hull was leaking and the ship became too rotten and could no longer sail. The adventure was sunk off the Madagascar northern coast, and as of today, 
Nolan has been able to find its remains. Thanks for watching. Was there a ship that we left out? Please leave its name in the comments section below. We're always looking for new ideas for some awesome pirate videos. And would you do us a favor? Please like and share the video. It really helps out the channel. And if you really want to help us out, why not become a member? We have some great things in store for our members. This is History of Pirates.